In this video, we will walk through creating deep links to individual MindTap activities in your LMS. This video assumes that you have created your course level link to MindTap and you are ready to take the next step to add links to Cengage content into your Blackboard course and set up automatic grade return if desired. Deep linking refers to the process of adding links into your LMS course that launch students into a specific learning resource or section in your MindTap learning path, like a quiz, a video, or the ebook. If the activity is graded, you will also have the option to synchronize the item score to your LMS gradebook. Before taking these steps, you will want to make sure that you have personalized your MindTap course to meet your course learning objectives, and most importantly, that you have confirmed the point values for your assignments. This is important because when you add a graded item into your LMS, we will create a gradebook column based on the point values in MindTap. Modifying the point values after the item has been linked into your LMS course will result in an incorrect assignment score being displayed to students. You can use the batch editing tools to modify point values or switch assignments from graded to practice. Once you've confirmed everything is set up the way you'd like, you're ready to organize the MindTap content in your LMS course. If you haven't already done so, you'll want to consider how your course is organized. In our example, our course is organized around learning modules. Yours may be organized by chapter, by week, or some other structure that you have defined. Most importantly, we need to have a module available to add your content. You can also create modules on this page if necessary. Let's say we want to add content into our introduction module. Open up that folder or module, and then, from the Partner Content menu, select Content Market, and then Send Gauge. This will now launch the Content Selector. The Content Selector is a visual representation of your personalized MindTap course, including any activities you have customized or added. On the right side, you will see that you have two columns, Add to Course and Add to Gradebook. Selecting Add to Course for a chapter or folder will allow you to create a direct link that takes students to that section of the learning path. It does not automatically add links to all of the content within the folder. To expand or collapse a folder, use the horizontal arrow to the left of the item. If you want to add links to individual learning resources, you must select them. For example, you may want to add a link to the ebook. While it is not necessary to add any deep links into your course, you must add a deep link to individual assignments to establish grade return. Graded items have a checkbox available in the Add to Gradebook column. By default, when you select Add to Course for a graded item, Add to Gradebook is also selected. Deselecting the box will add a link to the activity, but not sync grades to the gradebook. You can select as many items as you would like at one time. However, keep your course organization in mind so that you don't have an excessive amount of links on any page. In our example, we've selected a few items from the introductory chapters, so we can now click Confirm Selections. Once confirmed, click Save, and you'll be redirected to your LMS. In Blackboard, you will see a list of the links that will be added to your course, along with the points possible for any graded items. By default, the links will be placed on the content page where you started this process. However, you can browse to edit the location if you wish. Click Submit. Your links are now placed in Blackboard at the bottom of the page you selected. You can use the Blackboard tools to reorganize the links. Clicking on a link will launch the student directly into the activity or the location in the learning path that was selected. For any graded item that you selected Add to Gradebook for, a column has been added into your Blackboard gradebook. To confirm, you can access the Grade Center, and you will see the columns have been added. As students complete graded activities in MindTap, the scores will automatically synchronize to your Blackboard gradebook. One quick note before we wrap up. Grade synchronization is from MindTap to Blackboard. If you want to view the specific details of a student's attempt, you will view those in MindTap. Any modifications to a student's score in MindTap will synchronize to Blackboard. However, if you overwrite a student's score in Blackboard, that grade will not be overwritten by any changes or modifications made in MindTap. Thank you for completing this training video for MindTap. For additional help or resources, please visit our training and support sites or join the higher ed community to engage with your peers.